I'm Nunu Francis, um, a product of Ghana National College of Art and Design. That was 2012. Children are more familiar with this electronic um, stuff when it comes to lighting system and the rest. So you have this, the answer detector. And then we also took this idea from class one. I think one of their textbooks, we have something called matching. They will write, um, they will draw um, an image and then put down the name here for you to match it. So we've also done the same thing here. So you ask the child maybe one plus one. And then when it comes to that, you put six here, seven, eight, maybe 10, um, nine, probably um, two. We have the two here and then three and then 11. Because we did this for the lower primary, for her, maybe one plus one, we claim she doesn't know. So this particular one will give her the answer. So you will just put the one plus one, the sign here. And then what the person will do is, as soon as this uh, particular one touches the right answer, it will vibrate. It will vibrate. And we are working on another one which will give um, sound. That you well done, you've done well, blah, 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 blah. Huh? So we have one plus one here. So one plus one, we all know it is not six. So it will not vibrate. We all know it is not seven. It is not going to vibrate. Eight is not going to vibrate. 10, nine, three. It's not going to vibrate. And then um, 11, two, it's not going to vibrate. But as soon as you attach it with a one, it will give you the sound and then it will vibrate. That one plus one is two and not three. One plus one is two and not nine. One plus one is two and not 11. So, so far as the child, this um, project vibrates. It remains in the head forever. Because she knew very well that the last time that she was learning, she attached this one to six and it did not work. Two and then it vibrates. So definitely this answer is going to remain in the head forever. And then it's not only one plus one. You, the mom, can just write something down. Maybe what is it now? And then you put the right answer here. If in case you are sending the child and then it's refusing to go, what you do is you just take the SIM card off. Because one, you've, you've made her add interest in this particular project. So she will always like to play with it. So for her to play with it, then she must also obey you. That's to go and then do whatever thing that you want her to do. So you just take the SIM card. And it is not like the previous one where, it's not like the previous one where you will come and then slot in any other SIM card. This one, if it's not in any other SIM card, it will not work. So unless it, uh, he or she does what you've told her to do, after doing it, um, then you come and then give um, him or her the, the card. And then she will just slot it in. So this one, even if you are not at home, the child, I don't think, will go in the room. He or she will like to sit and then learn on his or her own. And one thing we all know that in everything, we have secrets. What we know is that when you take the building for, um, for instance, we have three segments. We have the foundation, which is the secret of the building. We have the, um, the pillars, which determines the strength of the building. And then the roof determines the, um, the glory of the building. So we also have our own secret. That's why when you look at the back, we are still working on it. When you look at the back, it's not complete. So we have done it in such a way that if you also want to know the main secret, that's where we want people to come. So if you're interested and you come, We'll try and then share the knowledge that we've acquired here with you. This is actually a flat screen. The one that is not working. Most of the times, people will just take it and then they'll just go and throw it away. But when the person had the idea, that's the fellas, when he had this idea, this was a flat screen that was given to him. It was working. But because of the love that that guy has for the, uh, the idea that he has gotten, so he just took the flat screen from his room and then just get rid of it and then Come out, came out with this uh, nice project. So uh, TV repairers out there, if in case you have any flash screen which is not working, we will encourage them not to dump it in the refuse dump, but to locate mastermind art and technology, and they will make good use of it to impact the lives of our children.